Hi Gemini, <clears throat> how are you? I hope you are happy, healthy, and well. Welcome to Tolda's Love Tarot. If this is your first time here, I hope you like and subscribe. There's some traffic outside, so bear with me. Um, <clears throat> this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if you have a bunch of Gemini in your chart, I'm definitely gonna hop off from right from what I was doing. I was sending, um, it's a long story of why this it wouldn't go through, but I had this really nice thought going in my Snapchat combo with a friend and like a deep thought going, because I use Snapchat for like therapy sessions and to like catch up and just talk to people. It's like a FaceTime text that you can open whenever you want. That's the way I look at Snapchat. I, lo I like it. Anyway. I had this really cool thought and then it got cut off and he, who I was sending it to had said that um, I provide this outside the box different point of view, which is a Gemini trait. And I replied saying that because Geminis are known for being able to see every side of an argument and that's why I think... Um, it's it's a mental and it's a perception thing one of my favorite words being able to see things from a different point of view and offering that objective viewpoint i guess um outside the box thinking so gemini i think you provide that for people i think you provide like aha moments for people like you get, you make them think. They, you may be like in a role of counseling or um, I'm just thinking like, almost like where your judgment is, your judgment or your insight or your, um, like what would you, what would Gemini think is valued and appreciated? Um, this is something also about like your knowledge because you've experienced this or like you, you may have, it might just be one person, but like what they go through or have been going through, you've been through. I'm getting like also something like coaching people going through this could be someone who's like new at a job and you see their mistakes or you see the things that they're fumbling with that you remember fumbling with so you help them or you reach out and you're um you provide like guidance or or maybe it's like newer people reach out to you and ask you for guidance because and it's fumbles or things that you've gone through and they just feel safe and like comfortable enough to ask you, Gemini. But um, there's also something here of, I feel like I'm speaking in circles now, but it's, you have the knowledge, you have the experience. This could be work related. This could be life coaching, I'm hearing too. Like um, you like you coach people or counsel people and you kind of like tell them what's, what to expect or what's going to happen because you've been through there before or like telling a new person at the job like expect X, Y, Z to happen because you've been here before, you've done it before. Um... <clears throat> Gemini, please let me know if that resonates because that was definitely popping in my head right now and it was clear as day, so that has to resonate for somebody. Happy fellow air sign season, Libra season. We're actually in the Libra Scorpio cusp now that I think about it, right? It starts today, well, October 17th when I'm filming this. Um... The veil is thin, as they say. Gemini. I hope you had a 
hope you came out of Mercury retrograde okay as well. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Ooh. So cute. This is one of my favorite quotes. I say this all the time. I just said the word perception. And this is going back to like, maybe someone's job is helping people see different things. Maybe you're an eye doctor. But it's more of like, um, maybe someone tells you what they're going through or what's happening and um, people see it one way and you're able to say like, yeah, but what if it's this that's going on? And your insight is just like, you provide this different point of view. Attracted to hardworking, blue collar. Do something. Someone could be a Britney Spears fan. That's the song that popped in my head. Why don't you do something? Maybe you did something. You believed in yourself, so you did it. Perception is your reality. Attracted to hardworking, blue collar. This could be like making the move on someone because that you are attracted to. Um, I'm also getting like someone choosing to see that, choosing to believe in themselves, knowing that they could do something. Two-faced which is very Gemini having two sides, but I'm also thinking this is also someone who could see the opposite view of someone or a situation. How could you say that? <clears throat> I've smiled in your face whole while I've been talking shit about you behind your back. Don't tell anyone classy graceful it was never meant to go that get this serious or go this far hmm i feel like there's something here about um Feel like someone's making moves or has made moves or is starting to do something and there is someone here who is either encouraging it and that's not really how they feel they really don't want to see you do this I'm also getting a feeling of someone definitely like um That's so weird. There's definitely something here about like someone being like, you can do it or like, you should do that. And they really don't, they don't want you to do that. This is someone, this is kind of shitty to me, Gemini. I hope you're not doing this. <laughs> but it's kind of like talking negatively about someone behind their back, but being very um, friendly and encouraging and loving to their face. Like if you knew what they were actually saying, you'd be like, what the hell? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. I feel like this could be your boss. judgment ace of pentacles the devil five of wands and then the tower actually the six of cups is in here too you could have uh, recently like had a fire or gone to a fire or even seen a fire I don't know, a fire just popped out to me, like 
being by a fire, something on fire. Um, Capricorn energy is here. You could have that in your chart. Um, I feel like this is, I'm hearing judgment call. like a beauty and the beast element here like someone is a soft sweet person and then the other person is like the devil the but the top a toxic person and i'm like obsessively controlling i also get a um just from these cards there's something here about like a person, a relationship, someone that I feel like this person comes back into your life with this judgment card here with this um it's almost like they come back more solid or you come back more solid, like something's more solid here. And there is a sexual fixation I'm hearing, but there's also a chemistry. The Ten of Cups is here, the Ace of Cups reverse, the Tower is here. This, There's cards here of like compatibility and sexual um, attraction and desire. What did I say? A sexual fixation? There's, there's something here that feels pretty... Um, stable. Someone could be feeling more stable and boss-like in their position. The Hierophant is also someone who gives advice. This is where, going back to what I was starting with, like providing a different point of view. The Hierophant is wise. They've taken their wisdom, their knowledge, and they're teaching other people. They're also, up with this judgment card here, like someone who makes judgment calls. This could be your job or something that's coming along the line, like, an ultimate judgment call. <clears throat> Someone could be like into spiritualism and like learning about like the Egyptians and the Kabbalah or just learning about different um, beliefs or like talking about it. Like, this person isn't afraid to, like, wear a, um, I'm just, I'm thinking of a yin-yang. I keep thinking of a yin-yang symbol as a necklace and, like, explaining, like, the duality of nature and, like, their spirit, how it's explaining the religious symbols behind it. I'm going to butcher it, so I'm not going to go into it. But it's someone who's, like, will display their spiritual spirituality and faith the strength card leo energy page of swords the high priestess ace of swords reversed four of sword uh four of pentacles and then the page of pentacles be dealing with a Leo it could be a Leo who is the person who is like two-faced or um, I heard like someone thinking it you're not strong enough or it's not strong enough I did not I don't want to take these well it seems like you want to be taken nine of Cups reverse, two of pentacles, and then knight of pentacles. 
So the fact that I just said, I don't want to take these, but you want to be taken, start like stuck in my mind of like what I was saying. You may be doing something or being asked to do something that you didn't want to do, but now you're, now it's here, but I guess you want to be taken. I think someone has been stuck in a almost like limbo of what is, what could have been, what will never be. Isn't that a Led Zeppelin song? Part of a Led Zeppelin song? Maybe someone's in a Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I feel like I'm also seeing some, this is something about letting go of what's going to happen next. This is something of like someone who, um, I started to, to initially think like someone who was like kind of sick of being by themselves. Um, I don't think they're happy, like, nine of cups reversed. Upright, it'd be, like, personal satisfaction, like, satisfied, hard, like, hard work put in, I think, to, like, um, for emotional, um, healing or emotionally. And you're one step away from the ten of cups, which I've already seen. I feel like someone was kind of, I wanted to say in a limbo of like, what's happening? Do I want this? Do I want to go after that? Am I really unhappy with being by myself? I'm hearing that and in the stagnicity in that stagnicity comes the knight of pentacles queen of swords reversed seven of pentacles queen of swords reversed and then the nine of swords King of Wands, Judgment again. Ace of Pentacles, back to those cards. Someone's like working really hard right now on making more money or like that's what's um this could be an old goal of yourself of yours coming back again i'm also hearing this could be an old person someone you've dated before used to see before coming back and they're working on like their energy is going towards making more money Queen of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Well, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Reversed. I just got a feeling of like, someone thinks about you way more than you know, Gemini. Like, there's someone it's either who would love to be intimate with you or um, you've been intimate with and they think about the time together. 
I don't think you know this. There is someone who like hangs on every one of your words, Gemini. I don't know if it's um, going back to like you are in this position of power or like you are someone who makes these judgment calls, but like they're waiting to hear what the Queen of Swords is going to say. Um, I don't think you re almost realize the strength and hold that is you have on someone. The chariot reversed. Cancer energy. Seven of swords reversed. Four of swords reversed. Five of wands. If you do, if you have to drive for work, I feel like there's something about like your vehicle, like um, something about your vehicle that needs maybe money put into it, things that you haven't addressed for a while and now you have to pour the money into it that you didn't want to put into it. Um, I'm also hearing like either something isn't going anywhere or it's like they aren't going anywhere. This is either someone is like not leaving you or like you, this is so bizarre. Um, but it's the Hierophant Taurus energy. With that chariot reverse, to me, made me think of something very kind of like put in place. Like I'm not going anywhere. Even if they go places, they're not going anywhere. Ten of pentacles reverse. Wow, the hierophant upright. This is talking a lot to me about a new job or like... The Hierophant again. The World. King of Wands. The Tower reversed. If you are connected with someone right now, Gemini, or you've like reconnected with someone who you've um, known from your past, I think you're both viewing things the same way. Heavy Taurus energy here. I, I'm getting a, a feeling of like, um, like completion, like this is it. If this is your education, this is like moving on to the last leg of your education, or if this is something of um, it's almost like a position where you are like working towards more money, looking to earn more money, a higher position. It, uh, maybe you can't up right now move up. There's no moving up. There's no financial increase right now. Everything is fine. Four of Wands, Death, Scorpio Energy, Six of Wands, King of Cups reversed. I feel like someone is looking at old messages or, um,
could have been what happened, but like looking for what someone was going to say, like staring at their phone. Magician, Gemini energy. There's a lot of Gemini Aries. There's a lot of air energy right here. Like to me, this is something um, this could be someone communicating this to you, which goes back to what I was initially starting with, with like, oh yeah, either you like get unloaded on or someone has unloaded on you with like shit that they're dealing with. Um, the lovers, there you are again, Gemini. So Gemini here's twice, Hermit, Hermit, I mean Taurus is here twice. Could be a Taurus Gemini cusp. So someone who was born in the beginning of Gemini season. I'm hearing too, like this is someone's like magic and their power is like part of their communication skills. But it's very depleting to someone. Like I'm looking at someone going through emails. People like. Or things that have been said. Or. Someone's like communication skills are, are a big part of their power. And I feel like there's this desire to go back to school or going to school or maybe working up in a school, um, which involves communication, different levels of communication. Death reverse. I feel like something is already happening. Like this transformation, it's not like transformation is coming. It's like transformation is here. Something has already begun and it's like a whole new vision, a new life or light for someone. This could be, if it's job related, it's almost like you are um, going back to something, a career that broke your heart in the past, but now you're going at it differently and you're gonna learn how to do it differently. What's an example of that, Megan? Well, an example of that would be, um, I'm just, this is coming to my mind. Like you're an auto mechanic cause I'm this hardworking blue collar here. You're an auto mechanic and you worked for your favorite shop and you got blamed for something and you got fired from your favorite shop and it broke your heart so bad you sunk into a depression and that you started doing a career totally different than what you were doing that you loved and years later you start going back to being an auto mechanic and you find yourself in a position of you know i could go to business school and learn how to buy this whole freaking shop and have my own shop so you are taking that leap and bound and investment in going back to something that like was a either a life-changing like a career um could it be a person like Yeah, I guess with the Hierophant here. There's someone here who has like seen a vision. <laughs> King of Cups, uh, Water Energy, Page of Pentacles. This is someone who is investing in either a, uh, it could be both shit, a position in, um, with like elevating themselves at work. That could be, starting to put themselves like taking on different um responsibilities signing up for different professional developmental type certifications and stuff 
to elevate themselves because they have found something they are passionate about and that they want to maintain here. This goes back to it is someone who may find themselves doing a lot of communication, that their communication skills have a lot to do with it. This could be someone who, like, like I said, is an auto mechanic, decides that they're going to go back and teach it. They're going to start being an auto mechanic teacher because they love it and they're good at it and they have these great communication skills. Um, I do heavily get like counseling, even like life coaching and re realizing like I should go back to school and get like my degree or my license so I can do this and make more money. Someone has found what they are passionate about and that what they want to follow and um they're they're slowly investing in this it's been a slow investment justice reverse ace of pentacles i also get a feeling of like this is it could also be almost a person like going back to something or someone where it ended Maybe it didn't end on the best terms, but something this time around feels like different. Wow, the Hierophant again. This is the third time. Now he's in reverse. I think this is a work in progress right now. I think this is a work in progress. This is an investment. Wow, the Chariot is here up right now. This is an investment in um, either yourself or you are investing in something with someone else and it is not yet committed. Or I also get the feeling of like, I'm thinking it, you're thinking it, but it's not being talked about, even though so much of this is about communication. If this is with like your boss, it's almost like, oh, there's a... role that's going to open that's meant for the position to now have two leads and like you're sitting there looking at your supervisor and they're sitting there looking at you and it's like we don't have to talk about it but we know that this is what's going to happen because this is already connecting so well and we're already doing so well together so this is only going to seem like a natural fit if it's somehow a relationship thing too, it's like just going with the flow and how things are feeling. There's something here about like almost not talking about it, letting things build itself slowly and naturally. There's a lot of Taurus energy here. You could be dealing with the Taurus, obviously. I'm also getting like stubbornly investing. What did I say before? Sexually fixated. This is also like stubbornly um, I don't want to say like obsessive in an unhealthy way. This is more like stubbornly going to make something work. There's an attraction if it's between two people. There's definitely chemistry with the King of Cups and all these Hierophants, all these cards of commitment. I feel like it's in a stage right now. I got the... Page of Pentacles right here. Six, seven of Pentacles growing right now. Knight of Pentacles right there. Three of Pentacles and right below that guy. Seven of Pentacles again. Something is in a, a growth. Could be a person. It's a growth spurt. A growth phase. Um, something, someone is growing. Watching it grow. these are all cards that are stable and solid but slow in growth ace of swords 
and with the and this energy of like stubborn i'm stubbornly going to make this happen ace of ace of swords four of cups reverse ten of wands i feel like someone is giving up fighting um If this is something, someone coming back into your life, Gemini, that you may have kept at a distance and or been indecisive about in the past, I feel like there's something here of like giving up, um, resisting and allowing things to flow. Sagittarius energy temperance there's definitely something here that feels like balanced and flowing i feel like you communicate with this person you definitely do so the eagle on his hand i just watched a documentary thing about eagles like that and it had a hat on like that it's on netflix but it's a confirmation for me I feel like the only, like, uh, people could be fighting for your attention, Gemini. Um, This is looping back to the beginning. If, if, all right, if this is a job, Gemini, this is something where you are going back and you are talking about things or going back into a position that once broke your heart. This could be like, you've become like a, a counselor for um, women who have miscarried because you've miscarried and you are going to school to learn how to take your own grief and understanding and help others get through that grief so you're revisiting what got you there to begin with or what you've been through to then work with and help others it also could be like my auto mechanic um example like a job or a position that broke your heart the justice card here is in reverse like something a position where you felt um you were treated unfairly and you left or you had to leave or you were fired it's like going back to that and um getting back into it because you were you did love it and you are good at it um if this is a person i also get this feeling of like fighting no longer resisting maybe it's their stubbornness no longer resisting them no longer saying like because i feel like there were love offers that were made and someone just wasn't interested or didn't accept and someone is now in a position of, um, it's almost like wanting to accept that love, wanting to accept the, the love offers. Someone has had some healing conversations or has just healed their, their heart on their own. But I feel like if this is someone from your past that you've come back together with, there's this definitely puppy dog lovey-dovey energy here that's been loving i feel like this these are people who have either hurt each other or you are just individuals who have been hurt by love before but your hearts are as patched up as they can be and you find this friendship and fun in in this connection that it starts building towards something of stability. Queen of Wands reverse, the Ten of Cups reverse, the Empress reverse. 
I feel like someone has already made up their mind whether they've said it or not. Like, this is your stubborn person. Like, they believe in themselves stubbornly. They believe in this stubbornly. And it's almost like their faith in you, Gemini, or your faith in them, however it resonates, is how this ball gets rolling. I do not encourage like playing games or bullshit on purpose, but this is the shit you would see in a movie where like <laughs> the girl's like, no, Billy, I can't be with you because of blah, 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 blah. and then later that night while it's raining, but the moon is out. <laughs> And everything looks beautiful. There's pebbles at her window. And she opens it up. And he's pouring in the rain. <laughs> he's in the pouring rain. Going, I can't help it, Susie. I can't help it. I want to talk to you, Susie. And she's all like, oh, Billy, your gesture of love is so cute. <laughs> oh shit and then someone can't resist it so they just accept it because Billy was being very stubborn and wouldn't give up maybe there's a gesture a grand gesture I keep wanting to say this could be work related you may see or know that this beautiful excellent email giving you all sorts of praise went out to your bosses and um where you were like humble or whatever, or like you hadn't been acknowledged before. Now you're getting this acknowledgement and it's making you feel great. But uh, there's that, that also, it just makes me think of like something budding and building. Someone wants this, Gemini. You may, you may both want it with all those hierophants. If this is a work position, it's like you and the person who are starting this or are going to be doing this both know you're going to kick ass and it'll be great. Or if it's a, even a relationship, you know it's going to be kick ass and it's going to be great. Let me know if it resonates. I will talk to you soon.